When I heard that there was a 100% solar-powered train in the world, I thought, that's a ridiculous idea. Of course solar power isn't enough to move a massive heavy train. There isn't even a practical solar-powered car on the market. And yet, here it is. Welcome to Byron Bay, Australia, home of the Byron Bay Railroad Company. This is a 70-year-old vintage train. It was built in 1949 after the Second World War, and we've converted it now to the world's first solar-powered train. Our train would typically have had two diesel engines, and we've taken one of those out, kept one as a backup, and that's been replaced essentially with the batteries and a new gearbox and all the control equipment. We have a 70 tonne train, but in terms of a full size train, that's quite light. They're also renowned to be very quiet in the industry. I'm the train driver of the uh, only solar train in the world. I've been driving the train from day one, which has been operating for about 16 months now. I had my own business for 31 years. I sold the business 10 years ago and basically uh, did myself out of a job and then this job came along and so I put my hand up for it and uh, yes, they trained me up and here I am driving a train. Actually driving the solar train is easier than driving it when it's in diesel. Our track's three kilometres long and the train goes from Byron Bay back to what we call our North Beach station. And it's got a slight grade up, slight grade down in certain sections. So um, what we do is we throttle up to uh, get us up to the first hump in the road and then we coast for the next probably half a kilometre then we throttle back up again to get us over the next little hump in the road. And that's how we get ourselves into Byron. And doing it that way, we don't use near as much battery power. And that's the name of the game, save the battery power. You've got to remember that the train weighs 70 tonne. So once it gets up its momentum, you've got steel on steel, so it just keeps rolling on. We have regen braking and we use it as much as possible. That throws some charge back into the batteries every time we use it. The battery on this train is roughly the same size as you find in an electric car. It stores 77 kilowatt hours and a run back and forth uses about five. Now that means this takes more power than an electric car, but not that much more considering it carries 70 people. The solar on the train works in two ways. We have uh, six and a half kilowatts of solar panels on the roof of the train. And then in addition to that, we have a 30 kilowatt array on top of the platform here. So the combined there is 36 and a half kilowatts and we can produce on a good day up to 150 kilowatt hours of energy. The, the solar panels on the roof of the train are constantly uh, doing a trickle charge of the battery on the train. And then a couple of times a day, just to top up the battery, we plug it in here at the platform like an electric car using electric car equipment. This is a net carbon positive project and uh, in the first year of service, we put 60,000 kilowatt hours back into the grid on top of uh, the power that we used. It's enough to power 17 three bedroom houses. As an example, in the peak of summer with the low amount of energy used per trip, we can actually uh, run a whole day service without topping up the charge just from the six and a half kilowatt array on the roof of the train and the 77 kilowatt battery bank. This isn't something that would work everywhere or even that should work everywhere. The weather here is perfect for solar power and this is a small independent railway with one bit of straight flat track and a train that can spend some time plugged in. For most railroad companies it would be a better idea to add a third rail or some overhead power lines and run the train off the regular power grid and then put some solar panels on the station roof as well. But as a demonstration of what's possible with solar power and as a neat way to bring some tourists to your train line, it's a pretty good idea. We've been running for a little bit over a year. We've carried over 100,000 passengers in that time and we haven't missed a service. Thanks to all the team at the Byron Bay Railroad Company. Pull down the description for more about them and about this train.